Hi, welcome back. In this video, we will try to understand how to use A star search algorithm to reach the final state given the initial state. This is the solved example 1. In the coming videos, I am going to solve the few more examples related to A star search algorithm. The main aim of this uh, problem is to find the most cost effective path to reach the final state from the initial state using A star algorithm. Here we want to reduce the value of this particular function that is f of n is equal to g of n plus h of n. If you want to reduce the value of this particular function, we should know what is the value of g of n and h of n here. It is given that the g of n is equal to depth of node and h of n is equal to number of misplaced tiles. So this is given to us is using this particular constraint uh, we need to find the value of this particular function and end of the day we need to reduce the value of this particular function here. So g of n is the depth of the node and uh, h of n is the number of misplaced tiles at nth node here. Now uh, we will consider this uh, uh, initial state and then we will try to find the value of uh, g and h here. So uh, at the root node the depth is equivalent to 0 hence uh, g is equivalent to 0 here and h is the number of uh, misplaced tiles here. Now if you look at this uh, initial state and final state here uh, that this 2 is uh, misplaced because uh, you can see here the 2 is present here and the 2 is present over here. So similarly 8 is uh, misplaced and uh, 3 is present at the same location, 4 is present at the same location, 5 is present at the same location, 7 is present at the same location, uh, but this one, this 6 and 6 are misplaced here. Similarly, 1 is also misplaced. So totally if you see here, there are 4 misplaced tiles are there, remaining 4 are present at the same location. So you can say that uh, h is equal to uh, 4 in this case and g is equal to 0 in this case. Now uh, we will try to find the value of this particular uh, state here. So the value of initial state is equal to, we know that g is equal to 0 and h is equal to 4, f is equal to 0 plus 4 which is equal to 4 in this case. Now uh, we can see here there are three possible cases are there uh, like we can move this particular 6 from top to bottom, 7 can be moved from left to right and seven, 5 can be moved from right to left. So these are three possible cases are there. So which one is right, which one is wrong, we don't know. So that's the reason we will try to find the uh, value of these three possibilities. Based on those particular values, we will decide which one I suppose to consider here. So the first one is uh, I have moved 7 from left to right. So that is this one. 6 is moved from top to bottom. This is the second case. And 5 is moved from right to left. This is the case. Now for all these particular three, we need to find out the function value. So for that we need to know what is the value of g and what is the value of h here. So all three are present at uh, the depth 1, so the value of g is equal to 1 in all three cases. Now the value of h we need to find out. That is nothing but the number of misplaced tiles with respect to, to final state. If you look at this particular thing, the 1 is present here, 1 is present here, it's a misplaced one. 2 is present here and 2 is present here, again it's a misplaced one. 3, 3 is present at the same location, 5, 4 is present at the same location, 5 is present at the same location, 6 is uh, misplaced here and then uh, 8 is misplaced and 7 is also misplaced here. So totally the value of uh, h is equal to 5 in this case. If you solve this particular uh, function that is 1 plus 5 is equal to 6, uh, the value of this particular move that is uh, moving a tile from left to right is 6 here. Similarly, uh, the value of h here we need to find out. Uh, I think uh, the 2 is misplaced and then uh, 8 is misplaced. 3, 4, 5 are current, pr correctly placed. There is no problem here. You need to compare against the final state. Remember that particular thing. 6 is present at the correct place. 7 is correct present at the correct place. 1 is not present. So we need to uh, consider this one. So there are totally three misplaced tiles are there. That's the reason the value of h is equal to 3 and if you solve this you will get the value of f is equal to 4. 
similarly uh, we need to find out the number of uh, misplaced tiles here 2 is misplaced 8 is misplaced just compare this with the final state 3 is present at the correct position 4 is present at the correct position 5 is not present at the correct position 6 is not present similarly 1 is not present 7 is present at the correct uh, location here and if you count it there are 5 misplaced tiles are there so the total value of this particular uh, uh, you can say that the position is 6 here and if you compare all 3 the value of this one that the second one is small that is uh, 4 so uh, we need to consider this particular uh, uh, the tiles and then we need to uh, move the tiles from one location to other location and then uh, try to find out the value of function so that we can reach the final state now uh, we need to check how many possibilities are there uh, the one can move from left to right four can move from right to left eight can move from uh, top to bottom and six can move from bottom to up but the thing here is uh, six is already moved from top to bottom if i move it from bottom to top there is no point we are going to get the same uh, uh, the positions here so this is not a good option only these three things we need to consider here so if i consider this particular positions and then uh, draw the three possibilities the one was moved from here to here eight was moved from top to bottom and here four was moved from right to left here similarly we need to find out the value of uh, g and h and then we need to find out the value of uh, f here these are present at uh, depth 2 since the value of g is equal to 2 here and uh, the value of h we need to find uh, i just try to compare it with respect to final state 2 is present at the misplaced location 8 is present at the misplaced location 1 is present at the misplaced location 3 4 5 6 and 7 are present at the current location here so the value of h is equal to 3 2 plus 3 is equal to 5 here similarly for this one if you compare this to 2 is present at the misplaced location comparing it to with the final state 3 4 5 6 7 are currently positioned 1 and 8 are present at different locations so, so totally 3 so the value of f is equal to again 5 here and if i compare it with uh, this one uh, 2 is present at the misplaced location 8 is present at the misplaced location 1 is present at the misplaced location and 4 3 5 6 7 are correctly positioned so the value of h is equal to 4 and the value of f is equal to 6 here now uh, these two positions are giving us the least value hence uh, we need to consider this as well as this and start uh, considering the different uh, uh, tile movements and so on now if i consider this particular thing uh, if i move this particular one from here to here that's right to left we are going to get the same thing so there is no point in moving uh, one from right to left uh, we can move the tile uh, two from top to bottom and the seven from bottom to top so these are the two possibilities are there and when it comes to this one if i move the tile from uh, this position to this position that is bottom to up that is 8 there is no use because we are going to get the same uh, the pattern here but I can move the uh, tile 2 from left to right and 3 from right to left here so these are the two more possibilities are there and uh, when I move it uh, I am going to get the next uh, depth that is g is equal to 3 here so this is what I am going to get here now the value of g is equal to 3 everywhere we need to find the value of h that is the misplaced uh, tiles here uh, if i compare it with uh, the final state 8 is present at the misplaced location 1 is present at the misplaced location and 2 is present at the misplaced location so the value of h is equal to 3 so final value is equal to 6 here similarly if i come to this particular uh, the tile locations 2 is present at the misplaced location 8 is present at the misplaced location 1 and 7 are present at the misplaced locations so the value of h is equal to 4 so the final value is equal to 7 here and if i compare it with this one 2 3 4 5 6 7 are correctly placed 1 and 8 are present at the different locations so the value of f is equal to 5 here and if i compare it with this one uh, 2 3 1 8 are present at the misplaced location 4 5 6 7 are correctly placed here so the value of f is equal to 7 in this case and if i compare all these particular four uh, the positions the value of this one this pattern is uh, less so we consider this one and then we will start building the uh, next uh, moments and so on 
Now, if I see here, there are two possible movements are there. That is right to left and the left to, uh, sorry, bottom to top. So, if I move the tile from right to left, that is two from here to here, we are going to get the same thing. So, there is no point in moving this one, but I can move it from bottom to up here. So, that is the only possible case here. This is present at the depth of 4, so G is equal to 4 in this case. Now, the number of uh, misplaced tiles we need to find 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. All are present at the correct location, only 8 is not placed correctly. So, hence H is equal to 1 and we are going to get the value as one here, 5 here. Now, there is no uh, point in comparing with others because we don't have any other uh, possible moves here. So, this is the minimum and then we will start uh, uh, moving the tiles from one location to other location. Now, again, uh, if I move this particular one uh, from top to bottom, uh, we are going to get one from here to here, we are going to get the same location. So, there is no point in moving this one. I can move the 8 from right to left and the 7 from bottom to top here. So, those are two possibilities are there. So, I have drawn those two things over here. That is, 8 was moved from right to left and 7 was moved from bottom to up here. And if I try to find the misplaced tiles with respect to this one, all are present at the correct location or the correct places. Hence, the value of H is equal to 0, we are going to get the value of F is equal to 5 here. And if I get the value of H is equal to 0, the meaning is all of them are correctly placed here. So, that is nothing but the final state here. Similarly, we will try to check it out for this uh, positions also. Uh, here, 7 and 8 are not uh, correctly placed. The man meaning is the value of uh, H is equal to 2 and the FL is equal to 7 here. And uh, between these two, this is the smallest one as well as we have reached the final state here. This is the complete uh, uh, the tree uh, after traversing from initial state to final state. Uh, this is how actually we need to draw it uh, complete uh, tree here. So, in this video, I have discussed uh, how can we apply A star search algorithm to move from initial state to final state. I hope the concept is clear. If you like the video, do like and uh, share with your friends. Press the subscribe button for more videos. Press the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you for watching.